Hallelujah. Someone excited to see the last Sunday in the month of June 2023. Shout, 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 shout the loudest hallelujah. Better is the hand of a thing than the beginning thereof. Someone excited to see the last Sunday in the month of June 2023. Shout the loud hallelujah. Amen. In this covenant day of marital breakthrough, also doubled as our end of the month Thanksgiving service on behalf of Jesus, the owner and the head of his church, our God's servant, the resident pastor, Pastor Dakwadumu, you are, you are welcome to this special service. We join in our hearts, give Jesus a big clap of praise and make a loud ovation unto him. Shout, 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 hallelujah. Please be seated comfortably. I've been turned to your neighbor to the right and to the left. Tell him or how you are welcome. Let's quickly open our Bible to the book of Joel, chapter 2. We shall be reading responsively from verse 21 to 27. I take the first verse and then we'll take the second one together. Fear not, O Lamb. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Verse 22 together now. Verse 23 now. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Verse 24 now. Verse 25. I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the power worm, my great army which I sent among you. Verse 26 now. Shall we take verse 27 together now? And you shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Let's go to verse 24 one more time and read it together. And the floors shall be full of weed, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. You are welcome. In Jesus' mighty name. Make that hand bigger for God. Better, 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 better. To continue in this service, it is announcement time. Give a clap of thumbs to Jesus. The prophetic focus for the month of June is a season of glory. Shall we echo it together? That shall be our testimony in Jesus' name. On behalf of God's servant, our resident pastor, Pastor Dapo Olumiwa, you are welcome to Living Faith Church, FHA Lube, Abuja, home of signs and wonders. Today is our covenant day of marital breakthrough. Every everlasting mountains on the path of anyone's marital breakthrough, which includes marital delay, marital crisis shall be scattered. Say amen. amen. It shall also double as our special end of the month Thanksgiving, marriage and children dedication service, 
God shall establish you in the covenant of highways over all challenges of life in Jesus' name. Believers Foundation class, the Believers Foundation class holds today after this service for new, for new converts and first-timers. This class is what identifies you as members of this commission by which a certificate shall be issued to you upon completion. The next, the elders forum will be having their meetings immediately after the second service. Venue is the Teens Church. Please note, this meeting is for every member who is 50 years old and above. Covenant of Prayers. Every member is admonished to attend the Covenant of Prayers from Monday to Saturday in any of our centers close to you. Main Church, Sauka, Sector F, and Environmental Salary Centers. Time is 5.30 a.m. each day, while on Saturday is by 6 a.m. Note, those who seek the Lord early shall find him. You will find God. Good news. We shall be continuing in our prayer and gospel aid all through this prophetic season. Our morning and evening prayer aid shall come up from Monday, Monday 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and evening 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. daily, Monday to Friday, except Wednesday evening. That means there shall be on Wednesday morning. The next, midweek communion service. Our midweek communion service holds this Wednesday, 28 June 2023. Remember, we are to wait on the Lord with a fast and return by 5.30 p.m. to break with the communion after fervent prayers. Good news. The outreach for this week, coordinated by the Evangelism Unit, Transport and Fellowship follow-up units. We hold this Thursday, 29th June, 2023. Venue, Kapua, Converging Point is Mountain of Fire Ministry. Time is 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The bus will depart main church at 4.20 p.m. to Abuja Unity Hospital and then to the venue. Members of this church who wish to join evangelism units should come for the outreach or meet them at their unit stand behind the church auditorium after this service. Sustaining your covenant highway status versus so winning. Winner Satellite Fellowship. Our WSF meeting holds on Saturday, the 1st July 2023 at our various fellowship centers. Locate the closest fellowship centers to your home, for, to your house, and fellowship with the brethren. It is an avenue for you to receive love and to show love to others. God is love, and it is of God to love others. Please note that all notifications for covenant namings, child dedication, wedding, and recommended letter and welfare application are to be channeled through the Home Self Fellowship. Failure to do so, your request may not be attended to. Time is 5 p.m. Youth in the house, shout hallelujah. All the youth in the house are by this announcement invited to a timeout with Jesus in a film show. Date 2nd of July, 2023. Time, 4 p.m. Venue, Church Auditorium. It promises to be an impactful and revival season. All youth should plan and attend. Special announcements. If you are interested in painting pictures to scriptures and would like to join the drama unit, that is the Potter's house. Please go to the sales team immediately after the service. Special announcements. The children's church is in need of passionate teachers who can guide and teach the children during Sunday services. Titan and kingdom investments. Our tithes and offerings are a covenant platform for continuous open heaven and showers of blessing. Ensure to pay your tithe timely and regularly to pay uh, to keep the rollers away from your life. The next, online giving. You can pay your tithe and offering using the church account details as displayed on the screen. Pre service prayer. Pre service prayer holds every Sunday for all church workers by 6:30 a.m. prompt. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. 
Next Sunday, the 2nd July 2023, shall be our encounter with destiny service. Every everlasting mountains and perpetual hills on the path of everyone's glorious destiny shall be removed like a dream of the night. Say amen. It shall also double as a special prophetic entrance service. Service schedule, first service is 7 a.m. and the second service is 9 a.m. Endeavor to come along with at least one person, your friends, colleagues, clients, and neighbors, and family members for these services. Come prepared and come expectant. Recommended books of the month authored by Bishop David O. Oedipo includes Fanning Revival Fire, The Wisdom That Works, Walking in Wisdom, also available on www.domeonlinestore.org and our local bookshop. You shall be the next to be announced to your world in Jesus' name. Give a clap of down to Jesus. You are clapping. You can do better for the Lord. Better, bigger for the Lord. Hallelujah. In this second service, Covenant Day of Marita Breakthrough, slash end of the month, Thanksgiving, it is testimony time. God, uh, the Bible speaking, the Lord is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Some of our brethren have encountered the help of God, and they are here to share that testimony. While we are waiting for them, and we call their names, listen to this documented testimony, and be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, Marita Breakthrough. On the 23rd of August, a Sunday service, it was announced that the 30th of August is a Marita Breakthrough. So, I thought, so I, it was, it's for, for, I thought it was only for married people. But pastor emphasized on it and he said singles believing God for marriage should come expectant. During the week, I prayed using the covenant hour of prayer guidelines. Also, I pray for the services of which I pray my heart to receive every prophetic word saying to myself that it will not pass me this time. After the word, God's servant prophesied. He said, as the Lord liveth, and as your father in faith standing in the place of Abraham, I decree that within seven weeks you are connected to your God or their spouses. I said, Amen. I screamed with tears gushing from my eyes as I was tired of loneliness at my head. In this service, the God will deliver someone from loneliness in the name of Jesus Christ. Then he said, all those in line for marriage, put down, put that down. Within seven weeks from today, some will happen this week, many will happen week that follows. Brethren, to the glory of God, as God has spoken through the mouth of his servant, it came to pass in my life. 30th August 2015 was the declaration. On the 1st of September 2015, my God-ordained husband showed up. In the course of the, if you are clapping, we can do better for the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God ordained husband showed up in the course of the week as declared by God's servant. Last week, to the glory of God, my wedding took place. God is mighty in the midst of his people. I'm like them that dreamt to him alone be the glory. The testify of Mr. and Mrs. B. Uh, if you hear your name quickly, come to the altar, Anthony Idegu, for your testimony. Um, Mr. Ol Mr. Olatu Bonsunkende and Mrs. Olatu Jitaiwo, you can please come for your testimony. As you're waiting for them, listen also to this testimony. Restoration and healing via water baptism. I lack peace in the past, and I've been visiting different native doctors. Yes, I was given different things to use, but yet I still lack that peace. I came for the water baptism, and as soon as I came out of the water, I felt peace in my spirit. My peace has been restored. I have returned to give God all the glory. This testifier is D. Oyemachi. Quickly, can you please come to the altar? 
and come and share your testimony. Once I was blind, now that I, was, I can see. If you are clapping, you can do better for the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm Olatunji Taiwo, and he's Olatubos Ukende. I serve in hospitality unit and is in sanctuary unit. Praise the Lord. We were on this exalted altar six years ago to testify about God that none other yet our lives and his faithfulness. Within these six years, God has shown us favor and we have been greatly helped by, by him. He has changed our status, he has blessed us, he has honored us, and he has increased us. And we are here to say thank you, God, for adding another year to our life. And in fact, he has made us parents to beautiful children. We want to give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Can you please come to the front? Your name and what the Lord has done. One minute. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Anthony Degu. I have come to give God all the glory for divine favor I've enjoyed with, from him. Sometime last week, my wife, my wife called me and said, we have stayed too long on this level. It is time for us to change, change level. That we should be conscious of not moving according to God's word. That we are not supposed to stay too long on a certain level. That I should take it serious. So we started engaging in prayers and on Friday, I had a strange call from an unknown number. That well, my number was given to somebody, they would call me and all that. Lo and behold, like in two hours, I had, a, I had that call. And the man was saying, I, I actually need your service. Some people have dropped different quotation. Somebody just recommended you. I need you to also bring your quotation. I said, okay, I'll be there by, by Wednesday this week. He said, no, he needs me urgently. So I had to travel down to Baeza. And as God will have it, I dropped my quote with Julius Beggar's quotation. But by favor, God granted me that contract. I have come to return all glory to this God. Say, man, in this service, as God's servants comes in, comes up, so many will be receiving their favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this last uh, testimony, healing via water baptism. For the past three weeks, I've been experience, experiencing very serious pains in my hand. I was still feeling the pains while listening to the word in the baptismal class. But as soon as I was deep into the water and came out, all the pains disappeared. I can't feel the pain anymore. To God alone be the glory. The testifier is gift God in our sister budget. Can we lift up our hand? Appreciate God for this wonderful testimony. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can we give Jesus the beginning of praise? Praise the Lord. In this glorious service, it's time for all to sing our congressional hymn, titled To God Be the Glory. Let's be on our feet as the glorious choir lead us.
let us gloriously take our seat in his presence. That this black Ford, Abuja plate number KWL 41 FB, the light is on. Please go quickly and off the line. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. He said, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. It is thanksgiving time. This is for all the Jew celebrants to come forward, dance forward. If this month is your wedding anniversary, your by day, or you dedicate anything for the others, your cars, new houses, church, everything that God has done in your life. I'm talking about new houses, home saying your house, everything God has done in your life. Shall we rise as the choir lead us in the danceable song? Please, you are to dance forward, not to walk forward. And also, today is for our children's dedication. If you are here for your children, can you also come forward for this children's dedication? Shall we arise, church, as we rejoice with those who are rejoicing? Choir. Shall we put our hands together as a welcome our Father, as a declare the prophetic heart hand of your life, and it shall remain permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for the Lord.
as we appreciate the name of the Lord again for all his blessings in our lives. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We join these your people to celebrate today. Let this joy, this celebration for be for time and eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your celebration will not short live. Your celebration will not short live. Your celebration will not short live. You are celebrating your birthday, it shall not be a terminal one. The house you are dedicating will not catch fire. The car you are dedicating will not become a coffin. Your joy shall not be cut short. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are dedicating today, we dedicate in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It shall not be a terminal one. is making you to rejoice today shall not turn to sorrow tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, the good hand of the Lord will multiply your joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, we bring these children unto you. We have come to put them in your hand. Let them grow and not grow. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we anoint these children today, we place the mark of touch not upon them. This guy grow in stature, in wisdom, in favor with God and with men. Their name shall not be mentioned in the old places of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree they will rule in their generation. They will matter to their generation. They will matter in the kingdom of God. In the academics, they will excel. We dedicate them today to the world of prosperity and power. We dedicate this gen today to the word of prosperity and power. Their earth will not break down. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we use them as a point of contact. Everyone believing God for this order of miracle. Receive your home. Receive your home. Receive your home. Receive your home. We decree provision for the parents. You will not struggle to take care of them. You will not struggle to, to train them. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will bring you joy. They will become the key to take you to the high places of the life. In the name of Jesus Christ, to everyone celebrating one thing or the other today, your joy shall overflow. Everyone rejoicing with you, the Lord will multiply their joy. In Jesus Christ, on filling in, we are praying. 
Shall we lift up our hands together as we celebrate Jesus? Father, we thank you. Take all praise, take all the glory. Let's welcome the choir. Drop your Thanksgiving seat as you dance back to your seat. God is good. He has done me well, oh my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Glory to God. hands together for Jesus and let's have our seats. In this glorious service, it is offering time. I said it is offering time. Package your offering, package your tithes, your prophet's seed, and everything you have come to worship the Lord with. And in case you are paying your offering through our online channels, those numbers shall be displayed on the screen. If you are given a check, address it appropriately and write your number at the back of the, of the check. If you have done that and you have properly labeled your offering to your God, will you join me in as we rise up on our feet this morning? The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 9, 17, he said, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. If I do it willingly, I have a reward. Now, for your seed this morning, there shall be a reward. In the name of Jesus Christ, this shall not be the last that you will give in the name of Jesus. As you drop this seed, your heaven is perpetually open. Via this seed, this seed this week, it will speak for you. Where you never know, this seed will speak for you there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please have your seats and cast your seed as you went on the Lord.
appreciate him. He has brought you to the last Sunday of the month from January, February, March, April, May, June. This is the sixth month, and he has brought you to his house today. Lift your hand and appreciate him. Give him praise. Exalt his name. Magnify his name. Father, we bless your name, Father. Thank you and thank you. We cannot thank you enough. We can only thank you some more. Thank you, Father, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Shawanore, Oluwa, Shawanore, Oluwa, Shawanore, Oluwa. protecting and preserving you what else do you want to give to him except you give him thanks quality thanks from your heart honor him glorify his name magnify his name father we thank you we bless your name we appreciate your majesty thank you lord for in jesus mighty name we have given thanks you have given him thanks today your thanksgiving shall not be bitter in the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a clap of rain. Have your seat in God's presence. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence again. Lord, you said the entrance of your word giveth life to the simple. Heavenly Father, King of glory, let your word shine upon your people. Let your glory be manifested upon your people. All of you, none of me today. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. I give glory to God for this opportunity that God has given to me to bring this word unto you. And I want to thank my father in the house for this great opportunity. Like I used to say, the presence of the Lord shall not depart from him and his family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, this is your season of glory. This is your season of glory. The glory of the Lord shall shine upon, shine upon every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Perhaps you are looking at it that five days to the end of the month. God, I'm still looking at your face. I want to tell you, don't be discouraged because this is your season of glory. Keep your hope alive and you will never regret ever serving God. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me start with a story. A young man dreamed a dream of becoming an actor. Things were very, very difficult. Things were getting frustrating and everything. One day, he drove his jalopy to the Mountain Hall in Los Angeles. And he said, he wrote a check out of $10 million. He said, I am paying myself for acting services that I'm rendering. It was a blood check. But he wrote it and kept it in the pocket. Anytime 
He's going through and he talks, he will remove the check and look at it. And he moves on with it. A few years after, his name, they were living in a van, Volkswagen van, with his family at a particular point in time. But some years after that, the young man, the commander, Jim Carrey, was making 15 million to 25 million dollars per movie. That is why I believe God, no matter what, look at that dream that you have in your heart. Look at it and move on. Lose no hope. Keep your hope alive. Keep serving God. You will never ever regret it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the scripture, Zerubbabel chapter 4, Zerubbabel wanted to, in the Bible commentary, Zerubbabel wanted to, to rebuild the temple. He laid the foundation, but the people came against him and made him to stop for about 10 years. No work was done. One day, Prophet Zechariah came by and told him to do something unusual and interesting. He said, go get the earth stone. The earth stone was the stone reserved to be the last piece of stone that went into the building. It was very symbolic to Zerubbabel. It represented the finished product. This was important to Zerubbabel to keep because when Zerubbabel was discouraged, when he was tired and thought it was impossible to finish the job, he would go over and look at the earth stone. And this reminds him that God will finish what he has started. Praise the Lord. A few years ago, I had a problem with my boss and he decided to transfer me to a particular department. Once you are transferred to that department, you're on your way out because you can never make the budget. He gave me a very lousy budget, and I stood. This was my inspiration. And I stood, I went to my portfolio, I brought out two particular documents, and every day when we are told to report, I will tell them, these two properties, we are working on it, and we're going to sell it very soon. A revival was declared in September that year. He said it was, it was our month of delivery. September is the year end in our office there. And somewhere along the line, before the end of September, two people came in into the office and said they want to see me. I said, do you have something, something, exactly what I was looking at every day. And by the time we concluded that, stand, by the 30th of September, I made double the amount of those budgets that was given to me. What am I saying? This is a revival season. Take opportunity of this revival. Don't lose hope. God is the author and finisher of our faith. Stay in faith. I ask the question, do you have any stone in front of you? What is the dream? Do you have something that represents the final piece of your dream? Just stay in faith. God is in control. He will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zechariah 4, 6 to 7 say, And the angel answered and spake unto Zerubbabel, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain. Every mountain in your life, before the end of this month, it shall become a plain. In the name of of Jesus Christ, understanding the blessedness of a revival. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. That's our topic for today. What is a revival? A revival is a move of the spirit across the people of age, all age groups, culminating in diverse, supernatural, turn around. What are we saying? A revival is the move of the Spirit of God. Not the Spirit of man, but the Spirit of God. It moves across people of all ages and leads to diverse supernatural turnaround. Your life shall be turned around supernaturally in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said in Isaiah 44, 3 to us, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, flows upon the dry ground. I will pour my Spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy office, and they shall spring spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. That is the move of the Spirit. 
bringing revival unto the people. I admonish you, when it's announced that there's a revival, capitalize on it. It is a good season. It's a season of the world. Then when you serve God with all your heart, definitely the Lord Almighty God will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is a revival? A revival is a move of the Spirit of God that unleashes the spirit of prayer and supplication upon God's people, resulting in mass salvation of souls and explosive church growth. How do we build the church? You and I are the church. But what do we do to make sure that the church grows? The spirit of the Lord is moving, except we capitalize on it. Through our prayer and our supplication, our outreach is there. That is when that move of God, move of the Spirit, will walk through us to achieve that which we want to achieve, which is the salvation of souls and growth in the church explosively. Zechariah 12, 10, he said, I will pour upon the house of David, upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplications. They shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him. That is what he's saying there. He said, I will pour upon the inhabitants the spirit of grace and supplication. The move of the spirit, God is moving in our midst today, and he will pour his spirit upon each and every one of us to pray and supplicate on behalf of the church and the kingdom, and the kingdom shall grow in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. When is a revival set to occur? When praying kingdom, advancement prayer becomes a delight. Praise the Lord. Let me digress a little bit. About 99% of us here came from a home. The parents, we are trained and everything. But sometimes I've sat down and meditated on some things. Those meruas, those are imageries, those guys out there that are on your streets, from the beginning of your street to the end of your they are always there at the beginning. You sleep around 10 p.m. They sleep 12 a.m. You wake up around 6 o'clock. They wake up 4 a.m. If somebody gives them 5,000 naira today, that they should start any problem, how are you going to survive it? Have you thought about it? That is the purpose of praying kingdom advancement prayer. I ask you, have you prayed for those guys? They have no parents. Some of them left Kano by, by walking, joining trailers and everything. They had no parents to train them. Why don't you pray for them? When you pray for them and they are moved out of the streets, it is peace for you, it is peace for me. Have you prayed for any armed robbers around? Have you prayed for somebody that you know is out of the way? When you pray for that person, what you are doing is you are praying for yourself. Because when there is peace, the church has peace, the nation has peace. That is my admonition to you. Pray, kingdom advancement prayer. Pray for people. Pray for the robbers. Pray for the criminals. I said it. I said the problem with us is that we don't realize what is it to pray for other people. Because when you pray for them, you have peace. Then many of us here, I know so many of us will have gotten messages. Uh, uncle, I need 20,000. Uncle, I need 10,000. Uncle, I need 5,000. Those people are upon you. How much is your salary? Even if you are earning 1 million naira, and six people in your family are poor, then you are poor. Pray for them that God should give them a way. When God gives them a way, the burden on you reduces. That is prayer, prayer advancement. The Lord will give us understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, but when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Matthew 6, 6. When thou hast shut your door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Say, after this manner, therefore he pray, our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. The will of God for us in earth is to seek him first. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things, whatever it is, will be added to you. It is my prayer today that as you go to the Lord in kingdom as my prayer, every of your needs shall be met in the name of Jesus Christ. 
when you are consumed with undying passion to see souls saved, that is when a revival comes in. When you are consumed with undying passion to see souls saved. Passion is consistency. Passion is persistency. Passion is perseverance on a particular thing. Focus on it. In 2021, the midst of the year was declared and I dragged my children that we must partake in it. It was very difficult for me, but I knew what I was doing there. Then one day, my daughter woke up 6 a.m. My second daughter and said, Daddy, I had a revolution. I saw the kitchen full of cartons, cartons all around. And I said, what did God tell you? He said, God said, there shall be abundance. That was my daughter telling me that I said, amen, and everything. Brethren, that year, she got admission to, read, to, do, to study her master's in Canada. How we got $22,000? When I got to heaven, I asked God how it came about. We paid. A few days ago, a few, few months ago, she graduated with her master's. Now, what am I trying to say? Revival season is an opportunity for every one of us to get the blessings of God in every areas of our life. There's nothing too difficult for God to do if we obey his commandment. It is my prayer today that you will not miss the opportunity in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. What is in the revival for us? I've just said it now. A revival, the life of every engaging believer is transformed in a revival. The life of every engaging believer is transformed in a revival. He said in Isaiah 61, verse 1, beginning, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, to day of vengeance, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn is Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes. God will give beauty for ashes in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. That shall be oil of joy for your morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Garment of praise for your spirit of heaviness. And you will be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is the revival for us? Every move of the spirit of God confers dominion on every engaging believer. Every move of God confirmed, confers dominion on every engaging believer. Proverbs 11.30 The fruit of righteous of the righteous is a tree of life and he that winneth so is wise. He said, he said wisdom is the principal thing. What is wisdom? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And how do you fear the Lord? By engaging in what he commands us to do. He said, by me, kings reign. That's wisdom. And princes decree justice. By me, prince rule. And nobles, even all the judges of the earth. He said, I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. He said, riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. Durable. Mark that word. Durable. Not riches of today and the team vermouth tomorrow. Durable riches for those that take wisdom. And the wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And when you fear God, you will do his commandments. The Lord shall give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Our needs are supernaturally met in a revival. Praise the Lord. Ever since my daughter gave that revelation, I lie not in Christ. I lie not in Christ. There is abundance. There is abundance. There is abundance. The Lord will give you abundance in the name 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 22, 35 says, and he said unto them, when I sent you without a pause, script or choose, lack ye anything. And they said nothing. When Jesus sent them out, they lacked nothing. Jesus is sending you out again. You will lack nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is my belief that you will to the line of the Lord and you will never be ashamed. Let me round up this session with this. I look up the dictionary meaning of bankruptcy and I saw that when you are in serious debt and they have to start selling your things to pay the debt, bankruptcy. When I meditated on that word, I realized that it's what we call financial bankruptcy. I've read people in financial bankruptcy, they came out of it because God helped them. There is what we call moral bankruptcy. Somebody that is wayward, somebody that is not having good and everything. But I've seen people like that too, that by the mercy of God, they were revived. But there's one thing that is very, very dangerous. Spiritual bankruptcy. You see, the financial bankruptcy man was saved because he became spiritual and God saved him. The morally bankrupt person was preached to, but because he came back to the Lord, he was, he, he was changed and he became a good person. But you see, a spiritual bankrupt person, only God, that is if, you see, he said when his opportunity is lost, it's very difficult. Don't be spiritually bankrupt. Go with the Lord. Go with the Lord. Go with the word of God so that you will not be spiritually bankrupt. You will never be spiritually bankrupt in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is our covenant day of marital big truth. So every challenge marital destiny, such as marital delays, marital crisis, are mostly raw oppressions of the devil, of whom the victims may not even be aware. I used to say it, my first five years on earth in a wedding, in my wedding, was a very turbulent time. Number one is I came from an Islamic house where it is instruction, it is authority. None of the wives of my father, about seven of them, can say anything. Once my father speaks, that is the end of it. That was how I, brought, I was brought up for the first 25 years in my, on earth. So it was really, really in me. So when I got married, God was so, you know, when God wants to punish you for something, he will bring somebody along. He brought a woman. He's a first, first woman. And he has never apologized to anybody that I've ever seen. Very strong. You understand now? So when we got married, it was just God that showed me he's my wife. If not, I would have run away. Because we were friends for seven years. I didn't have the boldness to even talk to him, to her. But the day I made mention of, can we just start going out? She laughed and told me, said, this is, you just remember now that you have to say that. She didn't know that I was afraid of her. Now, what am I saying? There was a day in the house, I got angry. We were in one room. I got angry. Something happened and I was very angry. And as I was about to go out, I forgotten that the woman I carry at home is a martial art. She held me by the trouser and pulled me up. And threw me up. Please don't. <laughs> and threw me on the bed. He said, you are not going to go out here. We have to resolve this thing. You see, I advised myself. And I calmed down. I asked the Holy Spirit, what do I do? Then the Holy Spirit taught me something to do. And I did that thing. And she went on her knees and apologized. But you see, the point I'm trying to raise is that we need patience. Don't underrate your wife. Please, I must use married women. Don't underrate your wife. There's quality in, in, in her. There's a potential in her. I was, I was so patient at the particular because now that I've seen the repercussion of my getting angry. So I decided to calm down. And uh, over time period, now she's about 55 years, and uh, I think the, 
the power is uh, going down. What am I trying to pass across to you? Patience can do all things. Patience with your spouse can do all things. And to the singles, there was a time my daughter was coming from the market and a, a very beautiful car was following her. And she was not looking at that person. So when she came, I accidentally saw what was happening. And she walked into the house. And I asked her, that man that drove there, I said, the man has been following her from the market. So what is the problem? I said, she ignored her. I said, go back to her. Go and talk to, to him. It is not that you want to give in to him, but be respectful, please. Go back. I said, Daddy, I said, go back there. I'm, the one, I'm your father. Go. She went back. She spoke with the man and came back. And he, how did the man react? He said, he laughed and smiled. I said, you have registered something good in that man's heart. You see, what am I saying? That man could be a source of other things to come. Be polite to men that comes to you. Be polite. If you are not polite, you get yourself into trouble and you continue moving around in circles because friends meet, men meet. Is that lady that you want to go about? Ah, the way she snubbed me that day. Like, These are the things that happen. It is. You might look at it as being simple, even if it's not worth your standard. Let me tell you one thing. Gold, when they bring out gold, it's not as polished as it is. It looks very rough. I wasn't looking like it. When my wife started, uh, I remember we went, I went to his uh, house one day, and she put about four minutes, because I wasn't working. Put about four minutes. I heard one. He said, why don't you eat the beer? I said, oh, come in, labor. <laughs> they told me, you eat one. He said, she did. I was, you know, I'm just telling you, she was on 750 naira per month. I wasn't, I wasn't working when we met, when we got married. But today, to God be the glory. You see, don't look at that man because of his dressing. What you wear is not as important as what is in you. He said, greater it is in you than is he outside there. You don't know the great man you are missing by snobbing a man. Be polite to them, and the Lord will give you understanding in the name of Jesus. It is my belief that every one of you that is single, the Lord will bring about you divinely your spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. And every one of you that is married, going through turbulence in your house, the Holy Spirit will minister patience into you, and it shall be glorious for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God shall calm every storm in every marriage here represented in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up on your feet. <laughs> lift up your hand and lift up your voice. Ask the almighty God to come into your life and to come into your home and restore the one they think is not restorable in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are here today. I just said one thing. It is very dangerous to be spiritually bankrupt. You are there. You have not given your life to Christ. This is the first step to not being spiritually bankrupt. You came to this service today. It's not by accident. It is by the working of the Lord Almighty. You are there in that congregation. You want to give your life to Christ. Put your right hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, I come unto you with all my heart today. Cleanse me. I know I'm a sinner. By your blood, I know you died for me many years ago before I even came to this assembly. Today, I renounce everything that is contrary to your spirit and I'm giving my life to Christ. Help me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. You prayed that prayer. Please come out. Carry your bags and baggages. Come out. You prayed that prayer. This is an opportunity for you. Come out and give your life to him.
that will give you life in the name of Jesus Christ. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Praise the Lord. Of free. Let's welcome God's servant. morning we are not ending this service without recognizing the important people in our midst. There are some important personality that God has sent to us to fellowship with us this morning. If today is your first Sunday that you are fellowshipping with us in this Assembly Living Faith Church, FHA Lugbe, you are the special person that God has sent here this morning. I will hold you to rise up on your feet as the every winner around them give them a winner embrace pack your bags and everything you come to church with as you begin to move towards the altar so that we can give you the honor of this house. If this Sunday is your first Sunday of fellowshipping with us in this assembly, you are the special person God has sent into our midst this morning and we have to give you the blessings of this house. Carry your bags and everything you've come to church with as you move forward as the choir welcome you. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see, we can see. As the choir have said, we welcome you in the name of the Lord. This is the this is Living Faith Church, FHA Lube, where the glory of the Lord always shines. And glory of the Lord is what terminates the shame of men. Because you have come this morning, the glory of the Lord is shining upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Church, stretch your hand to these people as we begin to give them the blessing of the Lord. And uh, we pray this morning that the glory of the Lord will shine upon you. As you begin or continue to fellowship with us, you will see the glory of the Lord. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you are living around Lubia and Enveron, this is a place where the glory of the Lord dwells. And like I said, the glory of the Lord is what terminates the shame of men. Three months is too much for you, for every concern of your life, to see the glory of God. So you can continue to fellowship with us. And if you are passing by, maybe you are on transit, look for any living faith church around you and begin to fellowship with them. And that God's glory will locate you there in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn to my right hand. Our covenant friends are there to welcome you and put some information into your hand. Move towards them as church continue, as we, work, as we all rise this morning to welcome God's servant. Let the church rise as we welcome God's servant this morning. Let's make it bigger for Jesus. Bigger, 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 bigger for Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout, shout hallelujah. Shall we lift up our hands as we appreciate the name of the Lord? I appreciate him for his goodness and his mercy. Thank you for the word that has come your way today. This world will not become condemnation to us in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not suffer spiritual accidents. 
you shall not suffer spiritual corruption. In the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of God in your life will not dwindle. You will not know such bad. You will not know such bad. Every opposition to your next level shall melt away today. They will dissolve. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, God will show you his way and you will also enjoy his acts. God will show you his ways, you will also enjoy his acts. You will not end your journey in a die no. No one of us, our household members, shall embark on the journey of no return. We shall not be casualty of the seasons of life. The Lord will make you glad. The Lord will raise your shoulder high. If you are that one, let your amen show it. Every power holding your laughter shall be randomly defeated and disgraced this morning. They shall be randomly disgraced and defeated this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will promote you. 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 If you are that one, let your amen show it. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more marital breakdown. I can't hear you believing, amen. No more marital breakdown. Whatever I've seen storm in your marriage today, the Lord will quench it. To all our singles, boys and girls, men and women, the Lord will make you laugh before this year is over. Before the last quarter of the year, your laughter will have become real. Your marital laughter will be wider. In the name of Jesus Christ, your eyes will not see evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me hear your ladder, amen. amen. And those who are waiting for appointment before, before they decide on to get married, may you have the appointment. And when you get there, may you not be sacked. So your board will not be dissolved. You don't want to say amen? <laughs> Lift up your hands and celebrate Jesus. Give him praise and glory. Please take your seat a few minutes. Most challenges in home, they are self-made. The institution of marriage is perfect, but the practitioners are an imperfect. I've said it before, and I still hold on to it until when the Holy Ghost will correct me if I am wrong. The idea of compatibility is causing more trouble in Christian marriage. You find marriage of three years because of little disagreement. Disagreement does not make crisis. You are not compatible. You are not married to a dummy. You are not married to a teddy bear who has no opinion. But a situation whereby Whatever you say was what she must do. It won't work. It has never worked. Maybe it worked for our parents. For our generation, it does not work. Change. So think Whatever you wanted is what your husband must do. Sister, don't deceive yourself. Or you always have it in your way. A day is coming. The man in him will speak. You know, think somebody is teaching. Nobody is teaching him. That thing has always been there. Always been there. Every wife must understand 
that you are the armor bearer of your husband. The first one was called help me, suitable helper, not equal. A woman is a support and a cover for her husband. You are to make up for the shortcoming of your spouse, not to expose him to ridicule. Imagine if somebody had wanted to fight my pastor. He, doesn't need, he didn't need to have the strength. Shout hallelujah. He has, he has, he has a backup that will just pick the person through. So he will be respected. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Maybe you are an introvert and your partner is an extrovert. God brought you together to balance it. If the two of you are introverts, it may not work well. One of our daughters in the Lord, the husband and wife, they are on the full side. But they had a daughter. Her mouth was sharp, more than reason. Somebody had been coming to their home, and she was watching. One day, she spoke to the woman that the parent could not speak to. She said, Mama, don't come to my house again. Otherwise, I will pour hot water on you the next time I see you. The parents were afraid where they were sitting down. He said, now stand up. Leave my house. There was no time that woman visited. They would not have one trouble or the other in their businesses. But for that little guy, seven years old, God used to deliver them. He said, don't come to my house again. And they said the guy was a witch. He said, yes. You don't know? Get out of my house. Shout hallelujah. She was looking at the parent's face. But they were too. They were stoned. It was not planned. But they were delivered. May the Lord also use your children to deliver you. When Adam's armor bearer was conquered, he became vulnerable. I pray you will not miss your place in destiny. Number two, we have heard about patience. Number two ways that give us marital challenge is popular opinion. Popular opinion. You don't talk to an unauthorized dealer when your product had problem. Don't take LG products to Skyron dealer for repairs. Don't run your life according to people's opinion. This is what people are saying. My mother said. My uncle said. Even, even my friends are talking. You are the first recipient of whatever happened in your home. I've said it before. Marriage is once. Second chance is palliative. But the challenge is when everyone is claiming right, hear this. Toxic persons only change their victims, never themselves. Examine yourself. Only your partner is wrong. You, you are always right. That means you belong to the class of the toxic persons. They change their victims, never themselves. There are some of us we talk too much, too much to family members. This is what is happening. This is what my husband is doing. This is what my wife is doing. And they were advising you. You are bringing that opinion home. And the problem is getting escalated. May the Lord give you understanding. Number two. Okay, number three. Parental experiences. Parental experiences. A number of us run our family on the experience of our parents. And unfortunately, most of our parents, their home is next to refugee camp with packs of do's and don'ts based on societal taboos. Did you work for your parents? When my father said it, no woman raised voice. You're going to be questioned. Why? You are not ready to answer why? Don't get married. Go and become a Pentecostal father. 
or Pentecostal sister? No matter how beautiful your parents' experiences are, there's generational gap. Generational what? Gap. Stop comparing with your wife, with your mother. They are not the same. They are not equal. They are not exposed to the same thing. Stop comparing your husband to your father. He is not your father, he's your husband. And he has his own set of values. Number four, environmental expectation. Some of us run our family depending on the community we live part time. And this brings about the stability at the best. If you are living in Ibadan, you may have a lot of time for your family. You can predict when you leave your office and you arrive home. But if you work in Abuja, the Lord is your mercy. Praise the Lord. Environmental factors. Your spouse begins to wonder what comes next in the evening. You left the home in the morning. When you are returning, you are returning as something else. Because the old up of Baja has just changed your mood. It shouldn't be so. I pray that today the wisdom to build our home, heaven will give it to us. And number five, is that correct? How we feel. We do things on feelings. Remember we have said in the course of the month, feeling is the voice of our body. And this body of flesh will not be comforted till Jesus comes. That voice of the flesh can be terrible. Our feelings can be deceptive. You can never do anything successfully based on the voice of your flesh. Don't rule your home according to the voice of your flesh. In Luke chapter 22, we understand even Jesus Christ, our Lord, did not feel like going to the cross. He had to ask for help. I pray for help of God for everyone here today. Marriage and family are investment. It yields with time and patience. It yields with time and patience. I pray you are married today, you will not be called a widow tomorrow. You are married today, we shall not be called a widower tomorrow. Amen. You are married today, you will not become divorcee tomorrow. Amen. Enemy will not laugh last over your home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, men and brethren, hear this. Nothing gets better until you get better. Nothing gets better until you get better. So go and get better. To the single, hear this. You don't claim a wife, you talk to a woman. You don't claim a wife, you talk to a woman. Bros, you have stayed on the altar of prayer long enough. Open your mouth wide. The worst answer you can receive is, sorry, I have an address. It's not an insult. You have had in first service, in second service. If you are not in first service, go and play the tape again. Get online and play it. That a man comes to you to ask for your hand in marriage, does not, should not lead to an insult. You are standing by the gate. Somebody says, oh, sister, are you going my way? Yes, he, does, he himself doesn't have a car. You too, you don't have. He says, are you going my way? Does he want you to, to trek? Maybe it's just looking for a connecting statement. Shout hallelujah. Just a connecting statement. Say, well, my way is towards east. Are you also going towards east? Ah. He said, 
Not really, not really. But it can lead to my way. Shout hallelujah. You know, bodily exercise is good. We can exercise small. And uh, because of a uh, situation of transport, situation is down. Shout hallelujah. You laugh it all, but you have created an impression. Stop creating negative impression. People feel you as a proud woman. And you see, the further it goes, the more you are misrepresented. And that is not who you are. May the Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Broad, don't believe God for somebody in particular that she's going to be your spouse. What if she doesn't want you? As far as I know, God does not exercise authority or dictate over woman's spirit. May the Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. You can ask God to lead you. You can ask God to guide you and he will guide you. So I repeat, you don't claim a wife. You talk to a woman. Open your mouth wide. Be on your feet. Give him praise. Give him the glory. I love the illustration of pastor. You are not perfect. Don't look for perfection. There are some single fellow. What you put down in your diary, you need to get back home today, tear it off. Set it ablaze. Your condition for God is too perfect. That even God cannot meet it. God packages greatness in little container that everyone can be able to carry it. My mentor, Bishop Thomas Aremu, was talking to one of his friends one day. And I happened to be there. I was not part of their discussion. But I was listening. That one, the daughter introduced a young man. But the man was not happy with the young man. He said, he said, then Bishop Thomas Aremu said, hmm, all right, remember where we were. If our wives thought of where we were, they would not have married us. See, but today, see where God has brought us. Don't write off that young man. Don't write off that young man. Your father, your prophet, Bishop David Oyedeko, was a drummer on his wedding day. He was so rich, there was no need to think of uh, honeymoon. So you, know, you are starting from a better level. Better level. Bishop David Abiyah, our first vice president, said, when they got married, they never welcomed visitors. He said, they'll be looking for meat inside port. Can you picture that? They'll be looking for meat inside port. On Thanksgiving Day, you can predict the uniform, the clothes that mama will put on. Is it the same today? Smallness is a sure foundation for greatness. I pray that today the Lord will raise your head. One of our sons in the Lord was to get married, and the guest parents said he must go and rent, rent a three bedroom flat first before anything. Then I asked him, What are you going to put there? And because I knew him, what are you going to put there? He said, That was their condition. I said, Okay. As far as I'm concerned, the bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh is anyone that agrees that he will marry you. So go and tell them, You are not marrying their daughter again. There are plenty of beautiful girls in the church. Yes, direct. The parents of the girls who are Christians to go and rent three bedroom. Now, the money to rent it, are you going to pay for the renewal? You know, it can be frustrating. You have three bedroom, not inside. When you return from office, honey, so we ask people, honey, 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 honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> Go 
Smallness is a sure foundation for greatness. Lift up your hands and celebrate Jesus. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Exalt his name. Worship his majesty. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bought our wedding ring in Oshodi. Two weeks after the wedding, it went back to Oshodi, Lagos. It became something else. Shout hallelujah. And one of my sisters now said, that's a, that's a blacksmith in Ibadan. Say that man is very good. When he made wedding ring, ah, you will like it. So I gave him money. And it was very beautiful because they also wrote our name. You know that make it customized. So one day, I didn't even know what happened. I was just playing with the ring on my hand and it broke. <laughs> so I removed and put it in my pocket. Smallness is a sure foundation for greatness. Somebody's story is changing. Say after me, if you tongues, speak against my marital destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. You are condemned to speak no more. Evil tongues, speak against my marital destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. You are condemned to speak no more. Evil tongues, speak against my marital destiny. You hear the word of the Lord. You are condemned to speak no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Condemn it, condemn it. He shall speak no more. He shall speak no more. Every enchanted tongue that is speaking, that has spoken against our marital destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. You are condemned today to speak no more. 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 Speak no more no in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enchanted evil tongues, every tongue soaked in enchantment and divination, speak against marital destiny of our youth. I command you today, speak no more. Speak no more. Speak no more. Speak no more. In Jesus Christ, of failing name, we have decreed. Let me hear your louder, amen. amen. There is somebody under the sound of my voice this morning. Before this time next week, the Lord will lead you right, Rebecca, to that way where you meet your Isaac. The messenger of your Isaac will locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me, every gathering of my marital mockers, thunder of God, locate them and scatter them. Every gathering of my marital mockers, thunder of God, locate them and scatter them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the thunder of God locate them and scatter them. Wherever is their guarding place in the three realms, on the earth, in the heavenly, beneath the earth, in the river, wherever they gather, let the thunder of God locate them and scatter them. We send the fire of thunder against them to scatter them. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. 
Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Is God hearing your voice? Every gathering of my marital mockers, thunder of God, locate them and scatter them. In the name of Jesus, let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Thank you, dear Lord. Shall we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Give him praise, give him the glory. In Jesus Christ's unfailing name, we are praying. The mighty hand of the Lord today we scatter every plan against your marital glory. The mighty hand of the Lord shall scatter every plan against your marital glory. The hand of the Lord will tear them apart. We tear them apart. We tear them apart. We tear them apart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear your believing name, man. Eh? Now see after me. Acts of God. Acts of God. Arise and destroy every satanic priest. I have to monitor my marital destiny. Acts of God, arise and destroy every satanic priest. I have to monitor my marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic priest hired or dedicated a sign contracted to monitor our marital destiny or that of our children. Oh, acts of God. Arise and destroy them. 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 Every satanic priest hired assigned, consulted to monitor our marital destiny. We command the acts of God this morning to destroy them. To destroy them. Mashike kole kozubra le kasande le voshinde le andala vashinda le ataba. Oh, rapa pale kasu so ye prole kasenda le atu so ye prole kasada. Tande rebo shinklande rebo su so ye prole kasanda le ataba. Shall we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for answer prayers? Give him praise, give him the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand under the apostolic grace. Of God upon this commission in the name of God of winners. I decree in the name that is above all names, calmness to every storm in any home. Yeah. Let there be calmness. 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 Yeah. By the spirit of the prophet, I decree today to all our eligible ministers and bachelors, be released into your glorious home. Any power, any person that has vowed, not when they are alive, truly they shall be dead. Today, by the spirit of the prophet and mandate of heaven, I stand. I release you to your glorious home. But any person, any power that vow, not when they are alive, over their dead boy, will they, will they see you getting married? Today, I bury them. They shall be truly dead. I bury them in the night.
name of Jesus Christ. It is settled. To every single parent, men and women, the Lord will reset to you. 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 Many have become single parents because of family interference. The other enter the man, enter the woman. There are many single parents that it's not their job, it's not their plan. For society, society has made them. But I pray for you today, by the mercy of God, this year you shall be reset to. The mercy of God will set to you. And those who have mocked you, they are returning to come and seek your help. They are returning to come and seek help from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say once again, for all our youth, you will not marry to manage. Your home will not break down. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are come married today, you, don't, you will not become a widow or widow tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is luring your partner to crash that home, today I release anger of God upon them. And the Lord will reset to your home. In Jesus Christ, unfailing name I decree. Let me hear your loud amen. In appreciation of Jesus, shall we bring out our end of the month Thanksgiving? And for the next 10 minutes, choir will lead us in high praise. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Because I know there shall be greater marital settlement today. Greater marital settlement. Greater marital settlement. Greater marital settlement. People have asked you, what is happening now? They will not have, they will not have another opportunity to ask you that question again. Because today, today, Jehovah himself has said to you finally, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we lift up this seed unto you. Let it be accepted as a sweet smiling servant. In Jesus' mighty name. Ready to praise the Lord. Come on.
for you. The hand of the Lord, I pray, we draw blessings, favor, breakthroughs, joy, fulfillment, honor into your life this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus, the commander of stars, we reposition your star for greater shining. If you are that one, let your amen show it. Is that the loudest who can shout? I can't hear your prophetic amen. So shall it be. Jesus mighty name. Please, men and brethren, next Sunday, our prophetic entrance service. Don't miss it for any reason. If you can't be on grant, make sure you join us online. Shout hallelujah. We are going into the second half of the half, half of the year with fresh oil. Fresh oil. Blessings you have never touched from January to date. The hand of the Lord will begin to erode into your home. In case you don't need returning back to me. The good hand of the Lord begin to erode into our home. Into our home. What you are thinking to accomplish in September, this month. The hand of the Lord will fast track it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And don't forget, we still need more hands in the children's department. You don't have to be married to be part of them. If you have never tried it, please, this week, even if you are not married, you have children in your neighborhood, gather them together, give them a prayer point, and join hands with them. Then you understand the place of children with the Lord. Shout hallelujah. They are the answers to agree with for speedy answer to prayers. May the Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. And also like us to know that the management of this commission has approved the construction of a befitting, a befitting chapel for our youth. So it's going to be cited at... Uh, this is your mommy market. Shout hallelujah. That is where it's, that's where it's going to stand. So even the sanctuary keeper office is moving. That one, they have anointed the ground, but we have also anointed the ground for the office to move. So put your hands together for the sanctuary keepers. Eh? The Lord will bless you. I pray whatever project of your life, in your life that has been delayed it at all, Watch it before this time next month. They're already reality. Yeah. Every project that has been delayed will take off. Yeah. There shall be provision of heaven. Yeah. Whatever, even if it's a paper you are waiting for, for that thing to take off before this time next month, they're already reality. Yeah. Is it fun? The heaven is open. And the hand of the Lord will surprise you. And you will glorify the name of the Lord. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. This way the Lord will make you glad. By his mighty hand, he will make you glad. If you are that to shout, the only amen available. Is that the loudest who can shout? I can't hear your prophetic amen. It is done. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord and finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Who are you? I am God's property. Ensure with the blood of Jesus and protected by the spirit of the Lord. Any power or person that touches you by error meets you at the top. 